Are going to be a lot of fun. Seven minutes here into the two o'clock hour. Bring it in, Matthew Cause of Not a Surf here in the volume.com studio. And we are live on volume.com slash lightning 100. If you want to take a peek in here, Matthew, welcome back. How's it going? Thank you so much. It's going great. A record came out a few days ago. I've been touring record stores and doing a bit of radio, and I'm just, I'm just thrilled. That's awesome. Yeah. It came out on Friday the 13th. Yeah. Everything seemed to go go okay. It went fine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Back in the day, records were always coming out on Tuesdays. That's right. Uh, at, our, at our favorite record stores. We'd be, we'd be there Monday yep. at midnight to, yep. Uh, yep. to to buy those those big releases. Yeah, I, th- I think it's really cool. Of course, you were at Grimey's, which was one of our favorite Nashville record stores just this past yeah. weekend. Um, had you... What what have you done with them? Do you have history with them? Because they- no, I just visited once as a as a shopper. As a shopper, never- that's so great. Yeah. That's that's really fun. Yeah, they they have some fun stories. The folks that work there of of all kinds of people coming in to go shopping for I records. I bet, and man, and so many books too. It's just like I've I've been visiting really great stores, and I've been wanting to take everything home, but I've just got one suitcase, so trying not to buy anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I know. That, that can be tough sometimes if you're yeah. on, on the road buying vinyl. Yeah. I, on yeah. a hot day, can't have it in the car. It's and, heavy. I know. It's <laughs> yeah. it's, it's tricky. I yeah. know there was uh, a Sub Pop record store in Seattle at the airport, and yeah. that's kind of that's kind of perfect because you're about to jump in the plane, and so right, 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 it's, right, it's right. going to be it's going to be okay. You've already gone through security. Yeah. And uh, Do you remember that um, CBGB's, the famous club in New York, closed, and then it opened as a restaurant in the Newark airport? Yeah. Yeah, so yes. it was just just crazy, just weird. <laughs> I mean, but you know, whatever. Thank you for your service. You know, and if you want to be a restaurant now, okay. Yeah, <laughs> and, and I know you're 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 a big pro- a proponent of of record stores and yeah. independent record stores. Um, and I imagine you know you've you've been to some cool because you've got to travel the world. Yes, and and you live abroad now. Uh, yeah. What what are some what are some of the ones that that you love. Well, uh, Rough Trade Berlin just opened and I played that one uh, a couple of weeks ago and that was really beautiful. Um, the original Rough Trade in London is great. Um, there was a place called New Rose in, in Paris that is closed, but a, a friend of mine put a note in a damned record and, and told me to look in the damned records and I found the note in it, which is great. But yeah, I, you know, I, it was my first job was working at a, a store in the, in the village in New York. And then um, my last official job was working in a record store in Brooklyn and I and my wife was working there. I met her working in a record store together. That's awesome. Yeah. That's that's so great. Uh, we're, we're lucky to have a, f- a few great record stores here in Nashville. Yeah. And, and the Grimey still exists. I mean, they've been around for a long time, been in a couple different locations. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and in a really cool one now. They're important places, you know, places for people to meet. And it's kind of like a portal into your dreams or something, you know, into this other world. I, I think they're very romantic. It's, it's fun. I, I yeah. love, personally, I love, like, like, you know, I don't I don't get a lot of days off and many times that's what I do is I go to the record store my right. day off yeah. is like cool get this new yeah, Karungbin right. record or you know totally, whatever whatever totally. it is. We got Matthew Cause of Not a Surf here in the volume.com studio. Uh and you put out a lot of records uh, over the years. Maybe yep. ten is Yeah, maybe ten. Golly. ten studio ones, couple co- covers record, couple of live records. I mean that's awesome. it's been a long time. And we I maybe we should have made more. I don't know. We're doing what we can. <laughs> We're doing what we can. Well th- this the the last record, the most recent record, Moon Mirror on New West Records, your first time with them. Mm-hmm. It's awesome. It sounds so great. Oh, thank you. Thank yeah. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Um, and, you know, we've been playing it a ton here on Lightning 100. Of course, we just we just got to hear you strip down uh, at National Sunday Night, did, did the yeah. whole show on the radio. That was awesome. Oh, yeah. um, and so now we've got you just in the studio here. You got your acoustic. Uh, and uh, you going to play a couple songs for yeah, us? Yeah, yeah. I'll play that first single in front of me now. Um, thought I'd give that a go. All right, this is Matthew Cause of Not a Surf live on Lightning 100. I used to be dreaming when I was driving. I used to be leaving when I was arriving. I used to be calling when I was walking. I used to be thinking. When I was talking, I used to be counting. When I was sharing, I used to be blanking. When I was staring, I used to be rolling. When I was parking, I used to be raining. When I was sparking, today I do what's in front of me now. Today I 
to what's in front of me now I used to be stopping when I was trying I used to be landing before I was flying I used to be haunting not just remembering in the middle of summer I was decembering always rewriting what I was reading but also doubting what I was conceiving I used to be dropping when I was collecting I could have been building but I was dissecting today I do what's in front of me now today I do what's in front of me, what's in front of me I do what's in front of me now I used to be missing when I was kissing Why wasn't I present? I could have been living I used to be dodging when I was catching I used to be dying, I could have been hatching I used to be drowning when I was drinking I was only masking, I could have been feeling You used to surround me whenever you found me I could have learned more from the friends I had around me I used to be falling when I was leaning Catastrophe cording, I could have been dreaming I was careening, looking for meaning Wish I was relaxing, I could have been breathing Today I do what's in front of me now Today I do what's in front of me What's in front of me Oh, there's too many lanes There's too much to see in the frame at once It's too much to contain Oh, there's too much terrain I can never explain it all much for my brain I do what's in front of me what's in front of me I do what's in front of me what's in front of me I do what's in front of me now Lightning 100 Matthew Cause of Not A Surf live here in the volume.com studio we got the cameras on you can watch for free Worldwide, volume.com slash lightning100. The new record just came out this past Friday on New West Records. Moon Mirror, the 10th for the band and the first on New West Records. Uh, we had to do Nashville Sunday Night Live from 3rd and Lindsley this past weekend uh, with your, your label mate, Yana Mila, opening up. Oh, she was great. Yeah, she, she was really good as well. And, uh, man, uh, it was fun getting to, It's so fun when you play a song, because we play that song a lot. Right, right, right. Uh, to to yeah. hear it stripped down an acoustic like that just oh that's cool really okay. really sounds good maybe you hear the bass and drums in your mind or something right? <laughs> yeah, that's, there, that's there we awesome. go there we go matthew cause hanging out with us here so you're still in nashville mm -hmm. americana fest is going on like what what have you been doing have you have you gone and done anything fun besides the record store and, and the show well what i went to a to? great barbecue uh last night okay with joel from new west and yeah. invited a bunch of radio people and you know those are people a, a bunch that i'd met over the years so that's nice that was probably fun Kinda like at south by when you meet some people yeah that you you know seen a long time ago and then uh i think today i'm gonna go to the uh grimy's in store robin hitchcock is doing yeah. songs connected to his um 1967 memoir so i'm really excited about that and i'm not sure what i'm doing tonight have, have you have you crossed paths with robin before i have i don't i can't I can't say I really know him, but I've, I've talked to him a couple of times and, and um, seen him play in Cambridge, where I live, where the Soft Boys, his band, um, started. So that's, oh, that's you know, awesome. I'm a big fan, so I, I'm just psyched whenever I can see him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and yeah, I feel like you've you've had this cool life where you lived here, you lived in New York. Yep. Did, yep. did, you, li did you spend time when you were young living in France, too? I did, yeah. My parents were professors, so... Um, some professors get this cool thing called a sabbatical year where every seven years they get to live somewhere else on half salary, but all, they don't have to really work. They just write, you know, have to write a big paper or something. And so we lived in Paris when I was five years old and they put me in the local school. I didn't understand a word, <laughs> but I think people were really nice because I don't have traumatic memories. I just, I just thought I was on Mars. Like I didn't understand anything. And then one day I, I realized it was another language and started like collecting words and and then um went to a french school in new york and then when i was 12 lived in paris again and uh yeah it's just a cool it's a cool experience i feel very lucky you know to have gotten to move around 
Um, but, you know, I also love being in New York in my hometown, you know, when I, whenever I get to visit. I bet. Uh, and, yep. and you're going to have the band on the road. You've got uh, all of October here in the States and yep. Canada. Yep. And then you're going to be going to Europe for November and December. That's with right. A bunch of shows out there. That's right. It's a busy fall, but... Um, you know, I wish I was two people. If I was two people, I would be on the road constantly because I love touring, and I love touring more than I ever have. I really enjoy it now. Um, but I would also uh, never leave the house. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you have, uh, what, inside your house, do you have like a, a small recording studio for like when you're working on songs? I have a songs? tiny, tiny little apartment up the street. Um, it used to be in the house, but I used to work in, in the top room. But, but one day my wife came back from a party like three houses over and said, listen, nobody minds, but... I just want you to know, actually, they can hear every word. And I was like, ah. And, I, and they were kind about it, but I got smaller and smaller over the next year. I would write less and less and sing less and less. And finally, my wife's like, we, we need to get you a place. You need, you need to be happy and you need your privacy. So Fair. I got a little spot. And I'm yeah, very, very be grateful. stealing your lyrics. No, I, I just, <laughs> no, it just makes you self-conscious, you know, because you got to be free to be, to be dumb. You got to sing... Silly, em embarrassing, very sincere stuff. I, I do that in the in the car. Yes, right. <laughs> True freedom in the car. I know that's a great place. <laughs> got Matthew Cause here of Not a Surf. We just got a great new record from him, Moon Mirror on New West Records. He played in front of me now. And uh, tell us about the song New Propeller and and uh, when do you remember when you wrote this? Yeah, and... yeah. Well, I mean, I don't want to be too pointed. Uh, Politically, but but it was it it kind of started out. It's when it's when um, uh, Mr. Donald Trump was running for office the first time around is when I started the song, and I was just feeling like there was a kind of negativity in the air that, and it's not like negativity is new, but somehow it was being encouraged and really coming out. And so I, I pictured a um, a cruise ship propeller. You know how those propellers are enormous and really churning up the water, but it's ended up feeling like it's also about the changes in the in the workplace um ai um automation in factories uh retail being automated and and um and just trying to cheer people up about you won't be replaced you know and and that's also for people who are you know worried about being replaced in in other ways you know demographically or whatever but saying just in the most direct way you are alive you are here you're going to live your life you won't actually be replaced you know, things may change, and I know that we know that's scary. But but, however, there's no replacing people. You know, so let's, so let's be hopeful and hope that there's always a place for all of us. Let's let's uh, let's hear it. This is Matthew right. Cause of Not a Surf and New Propeller live on Lightning 100. Sorry, it's so quiet, but the loud music will be back in just a few minutes here on Lightning 100. Nashville is not always quiet radio. <laughs> There's a new propeller churning up our days. There's a whirlpool spinning, digging us our graves. There's a growing Mistakes, same old ground I've always walked on. Now they call it fate. Don't be. Same. There's a 
growing feeling Going down the drain Same old ground I've always walked on There's always new pain Don't be afraid You won't be replaced Don't be afraid You won't be erased There's a brand new flavor Acidic in its taste There's a brand new picture Colors gone to waste There's a growing feeling Nobody is chased Same old ground I've always walked on Sliding in the lake You felt a bright white light You gave it a name and you set a price Okay, there may be a God And they love you with all their heart But there's no place underground There is no devil hand Watch it go, it's a lovely twilight We're alone, but you are the door prize Watch it go, it's a lovely twilight Lightning 100, Matthew Cause of Not A Surf, live here in the Volume.com studio. We just had him this past Sunday doing Nashville Sunday Night, live from 3rd and Lindsley. Still in town. Sounds like he's going to be sneaking over to Grimey's. Uh, yes, I'm going to try to. <laughs> back to yeah. Grimey's. Yep, you're, al- yep. you're already there. Go back. Uh, 25 minutes here into the 2 o'clock hour. Americana Fest is upon us. we got the honors and award show tonight at Ryman Auditorium. And uh, a great hang here with Matthew Cause. Man, you just have one of the coolest voices. Man, uh, thank you. And uh, you've, been, you've been writing songs uh, for, yeah. for a long time. Yeah, and, uh, a long time. I really appreciate anybody who's listening. It really means a lot to us. I'd, I'd be doing it anyway, but um, this feels a lot better, and uh, and I get to travel around and do it, and that's a real blessing. That's great. Uh, yeah. And, uh, man, kudos. You have a fun song you did with Brett Newski. Oh, yeah, uh, Chemicals. That I was listening to. It's, it's so good. Oh, it's cool. fun. He's I, great, I huh? love that. Yeah, no, he's really good. We toured together in, in Austria and Germany, I think, and... Um, Man, once in a while, someone asked me to sing on a song that's really good, and it's kind of fun. It's almost like joining a band for three minutes. You know? Yeah, that's yeah. great. Well, that's that's a, that's a really good one. Yeah. I, I want to wrap it up with uh, a song that you actually just put out a video for this one, Second Skin. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I think this is another tremendous song from the record, and uh, it's just, just a full good album. Thank you. I, I really appreciate that. It's a, it's a fun video by a guy called Spencer Gantz, who did Cold to See Clear for us a long time ago. Got um, it. But, man, th- yeah, thanks for checking out the record. I re- really appreciate it. Well, let's do it. Let's take a listen. It is Matthew Cause of Not a Surf. This is the band, the full band, Second Skin on Lightning 100.